It's going to be Zlatan versus Unique. And here we go. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. We've got Zlatan facing off versus Unique. It's going to be a ZVZ on Steps of War. As we get into it, this is round number six, and it's going to be a best of one, of course. This is the pre-grid of the EU Craft Cup Light number 36, brought to you by us, MC Dust and Jim Rayner. Why don't you go ahead and take it away, man? All right. Uh, now, this is a nine-round event, so these players are more than halfway through. Both of, we've seen both of these players make it to the quarterfinals and semifinals of previous Craft, craft Cup events, so they're both very good. Uh, obviously, they're both Zerg players, Latin spawning as Blue Zerg in the bottom left-hand corner, and Unique spawning as Red Zerg in the top right-hand corner. And now, uh, Steps of War is the smallest 1v1 Blizzard map in the map pool. This will put an interesting twist on how quickly these guys try to uh, expand and what they try to do in their first initial waves of attack. And now we're seeing Zlatan is doing only scouting with Overlords, whereas Unique has already changed things for these players in a very slight amount by being the first scout. He's sending a drone through the middle of the map and it looks like I'm not sure what that scout's going to be up to. He spots the spawning pool and in a way this will allow Unique to delay his spawning pool a certain amount realizing exactly when Zlatan cranked out his spawning pool in fact, Zlatan did it when he had 14 drones. Oh, and look at this expansion going Unique. down by Unique. What an interesting response. That's right. To, oh, he, oh, exact. So, he, you know what? He's probably got an exact build order in mind. Unique has probably got an exact thing in his mind about what he can do to counter what's going to be fast speed zerglings, really. Because, you know, he had the early extractor, then the spawning pool. Yeah, for sure. So, Hopefully he has an exact idea in mind of what he's going to do to defend this, but he's going to be threatened pretty quickly. And as we know, on Steps of War, when you expand, you expand closer to your opponent, so it definitely makes Zerg expanding or quick expanding a lot more difficult. And noticing Zlatan is going for a queen, so um, no kind of cheesy early fast Zerglings, but Zlatan has spotted the expansion with his Overlord. So he does know it's there. Uh, both players know exactly what they're up against build order-wise. That's right, and it looks like Zlatan's actually going for a Roach Warren as well. So maybe, we, you know what, Zlatan already is not, has already surrendered the Zergling push. He's already admitting to us that uh, Zerglings are not going to get the job done. That's right. The expansion is now finished. And let's just, economy-wise, let's just take a look at how these players are doing. They're both sitting at 15 workers right now. There goes the spine crawler. And, and two lanes do go in. Oh, man. Unique does have a, quite a bit to deal with it. And this is just, a, all these two Zerglings are our scouts. He of wants course. to see how many refineries he's going after. A little ring around the rosy here. A couple of laps around the And he sees the there are no refineries. So the only thing Unique's going to be able to do at the moment is uh, lings and spine crawlers. And it looks, it looks like we got a couple links from, uh, you know, coming in from Unique as well, but these Roach is going to take care of those easily. Nice counter scouting. And right now, six Zerglings for Unique. This Latin's got no Zerglings and three Roaches, and Unique is getting ready for those Roaches. And these are both very experienced Zerg players. We have seen Unique and, uh, we have seen Unique and Slatin go pretty far. So... Yep. Now, uh, the speed Zergling upgrade was not researched by uh, Zlatan. Unique is not researching it either. And notice we got two Zerglings blocking the ramp, or two uh, queens, queens yeah. blocking the ramp, along with, I mean, he's throwing everything. In. Now we got a third, a third spine crawler. So I think both players. You know, it's like Zlatan has decided mass roaches, and Unique has decided he's going to defend those with a combination of Zerglings and Spine Crawlers. And I think this is a mistake to bring these Zerglings in here. Let's see. The roaches are just going to... Yeah. 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 He was Ouch. maybe trying to uh, save his Overlord, but that didn't end up happening. So he's going to need to build a couple more Overlords just to uh, maintain his supply count as Zlatan moves in. 
Unique's at 28 supply count, Zlatan's at 48, and Zlatan's bringing his queen with him. That's right. So that's an in a fascinating... And all know. of his drones all in right now. This is it. Here we go. Let's see Zlatan. how this works out for Zlatan. Oh man, giant battle going between drones, queens, and roaches. There's also spine crawlers doing the poking damage. And it looks like all those drones got taken out. There's only one drone left for Zlatan. As Zlatan moves to the back of the drone line here and tries to take out Unique. And it looks like he's going to successfully take out this expansion. Those uh, oh, spine yeah. crawlers moving up the up the ramp. This is probably a very good move here, but it depends on. We'll see how uh, fast those spine crawlers can get to oh. the ground and see how much damage these wings can do. And if these spine crawlers can get down, yes, all three of them do get down. Vlad. Unique's in big trouble. Yeah. Unique's got no economy at all. Oh yeah. You mean? Uh, you or mean sorry, Vlad's got yeah, no man, economy at all. Rather, Vlad's so got no right nothing. <laughs> but yeah, Vlad's no, got for sure. And those flying crawlers on top of that on top of that ramp are going to make these ro those, these roaches' jobs a lot harder. And, well, um, I think I think at this point the game's over. I there, don't. You know see. there is a drone out right now for Zlatan, another one being uh, finished <laughs> just now. So he's got a couple of drones. He's going to be way way behind here as the queen finally makes it up here to transfuse uh, and, one of those roaches. Now keep in mind, Unique has got a roach warren now. Uh-oh, so that is queen right is here. gone. And without that queen, he's not going to be able to do too much. Yeah, that's, there's no way Zlatan can uh, do this. Yep. GG is called. The all-in fails. Unique pushes forward. We've got a Zerg victory here. Hey, McDuff's. Yo, what's up? Uh, the Kalen versus Savoy game, uh, they were happy waiting for you guys, so if you want to come in, oh, that's Zelnaga Caverns PVT. Cool. Why, actually, why don't you have um, uh, Fire? Do you want to take this game? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks, guys. And I'll uh, try to find you guys a game in about three minutes. There's no point in finding one now. Sounds good, man. So I'll go on the hunt for a new game in about three minutes. Talk to you soon, guys. All right. Yes, guys, no requests will be played at this time. We've got nonstop action here at Imbalance TV. Tell your friends, tell your uh, children, tell your parents. We're here to bring StarCraft to you, and we know everybody loves StarCraft. There's no way that anybody can dislike StarCraft. And um, let me see if there are bets. And I'm checking to see if there are bets on this. And uh, this is a Rage vs. Rage match, huh? The two Rage members of today. And yes, there were bets, but bets are closed now for this match. So let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this going down. All right, good luck and have fun to both of our players. Let's get in this exciting matchup. TVP. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is imbalanced. We've got a TVP here as we got the Rage members fighting it out. And I'm sure they've fought many times before, but it is Rage Callan versus Rage Savoya as we get into it. And uh, this is the EU Craft Cup Light number 36. So why don't you go ahead and uh, take us away, Fire? Yeah, Ray, uh, Kalen's teammate in Rage actually did get taken out two rounds ago, I think. So, um, yeah, he seems to be the only Rage left. Um, Ray's a... Uh, Inso, I think it was his name, was the previous winner of the Craft Cup last uh, on Friday. Um, he isn't in this one, I don't think, unless he got knocked out in one of the earlier rounds. Um, but yeah, it should be some good gameplay from these players. Obviously part of some big teams, so 
I think we're gonna get some good games out of this one. No cheesing. That's for sure. And I did. Uh, I did mess that up. I didn't read uh, Rage right. I didn't read his uh, Savoya's team right. I said Rage and not Razor. So I'll take my public lashings. It's fine. <laughs> But anyways, it looks like uh, it looks like Kalen's gonna go ahead and place down his gateway and throw out that scout. Yeah, we have a barracks going down for Savoya. Uh, no gas yet, so it's twelve racks. Um, Maybe a double so racks play. Interesting, huh? crazy good one. Yeah, it could be. Oh, it looks like the refinery is now going down. Yep. I think due to like this building positioning. I'm skeptical if he's actually going to go for a 1-1-1. One, one, one. I was expecting some heavy barracks play myself. Yeah, that's what it looks like for sure. See another pylon. Pretty standard play from Kalen so far. Sends out that probe. That probe does reach uh, Servoya's base and will go in and try to tase one of these SCVs to death. As, uh, as we see another SCV leaving Servoya's base and going on his own scouting mission. Yep. The, the problem with scouting Protoss, though, is that it's a very generic opening most of the time with the gateway and the cybernetics core. So you really can't decide and base your tactics around what they're doing until they actually have the cybernetics core down for at least 30 seconds. And then you can see if they add extra gateways or add a robotics facility. That's right. And look at this. We've got a gas steal going down. Kalen stealing some gas. Making it hard for Terran to go with the 1-1-1 one, one, one build anyway. So are we going to see? There's the factory, actually. Factory is being built right now. So um, interesting to see what the next building is going to be. But we do still see this SCV running around uh, running around Kalen's base. A zealot chasing yeah. him around right now. And it looks like the second unit for uh, Kalen will be a Zealot, as well as these three Marines going to be able to take out that, uh, that assimilator in no time. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see Kalen fast expand. Um, like, uh, oh, I can't remember his name, Funi, in the last game against Beastie. Um, but obviously, that gas deal is going to stop him going for some banshees. And if he does, they're going to be extremely delayed. Um, Hellion's coming out of the factory and a starport going down, so it is in fact a 1 1 1. So he could go for Hellions and get some early banshees out with the cloak, which is. Very effective against Protoss players, That's especially, right. especially in the early. early game. Yeah, That's right. We also see an and expansion, expansion going down, and uh, no expansion yet from our Terran player Savoya. Yeah, that early expansion from Kalen's really not going to help him if he does decide to go for Banshees. Oh, and look at this! Um, it was spotted actually by that SCV. So Savoya knows all about that expansion. Yep. Zillow's going to have a hard time catching that Hellion, so... That's right. Three kills for that Hellion. Uh, meanwhile, Stork coming up trying to get the Hellion. But Razor can really plan his game now. Now he's seen the, f the fast expand. He could go for an expansion himself, or go for some early aggression. It does seem Kaelin's going for a three-gate robo, which, you know, is usually followed by an expansion. Um, so, yeah. Interesting to see what he goes with. If it's going to be a macro game with Savoya, or it's going to be an early push to try and you know punish him for going for that fast expansion. That's right. And, and speaking of expansions, we see that uh, we see that Savoya is throwing down his expansion as well as these three gateways being placed down and a robo facility. So we're going to see a three gate robo on two bases as these probes move forward and transfer into the natural expansion. And yes, there was a switch in Banshees, as you, as we were saying before, are uh, being, you know, pumped out right now. And I think there is already one Banshee that did just get taken out. Or no, that was the SCV. Never mind. Yeah, it's good denial of scouting here by um, Savoya. He hasn't seen uh, the factory or the starport at all. And that's really going to help these Banshees get the element of surprise. So, yeah, good play here by Savoya. Definitely. 